Once we've brought in images to Photoshop, we have to get ourselves ready so we can do some work on them. The first thing you want to do is go into full screen mode with menu bar. Secondly, you want to hide the dock down here because it's very distracting to see all that kind of stuff. So just go up to the apple and go dock, turn hiding on. Next thing you want to make sure is that you have your layers palette open and your navigator. The way you can open them if they're not already so is layers, click on layers, and navigator, click on navigator. So here's a, a file that we brought in from the internet and we need to stretch it to fit this whole image size that we've made before. The first thing we want to do is we want to lock the layer. We're on the layer because it's blue and we're going to lock it. The second thing we're going to do is copy it by dragging it down to this little button right next to the trash can. It's kind of dangerous down there, be careful. So now we have two of the identical layers. Turn off the bottom layer and unlock the top layer so we can do something to it by hitting the button again, the toggle. Now your navigator is going to help us get into a position where we can stretch this out. So we're going to make it smaller and we're going to go edit free transform and we're going to hold shift the shift key down when we go to the corner so that we keep this thing from getting all stretched and distorted hold shift again go let go of shift go in and start moving it so you can see we're starting to fill up the image now we could stretch it this way but what happens is without holding shift the circle gets stretched into an oval. So I'm going to hit the escape key and start again. Edit, retransform, hold down the shift key, and stretch this image out so that it goes a little bit over the edges. So you have plenty of wiggle room. You don't want those edges in there to show. And there we go. We brought it back in. If you like what you see, we're going to fix it now by hitting the return key. That gets rid of the pixelation and it makes it uh, on the layer the way you want it to be. If you like it, hit the lock key and immediately go up and go file, save. If you don't save it, you run the risk of losing all your work when the computer crashes or some other little glitch comes along. So now the next thing you want to do is go up to the next image that you brought in from the web, which is right up here. We've already locked it. We're going to copy it. And we're going to do the same thing to this. We're going to unlock the copy. We're on the copy layer because it's blue. We're going to do an edit, retransform. And on this one, we're not going to hold shift because there are, we might not run into any problems with round shaped moons or whatever. So you can move this thing around without holding shift, but if you're going to stretch it and you want to keep it proportional, you have to hold shift. If you like it, hit the enter key and then lock this one. Immediately save it. File, save. Now you should be picking approximately five different images so that of those five, after you've stretched them out, you can make the best decision about which one it is that you're going to want to spend the rest of the time working on this image. This is the one that will be your background. So there it is.